Oh my god, it's a big crowd. Welcome back to Hawaii Outdoors. Beautiful Saturday morning here. It's like 30 below out. Six feels four. like. Six four. Got my buddy Austin with me again today. One of the biggest fans of Hawaii Outdoors, alongside Sam Henriksen. Cool. Just got our lines down. It's a couple minutes after 7 a.m. Sunrise is about 7:55, so we got got here plenty early. Fishing for some walleyes and some crappies again today. Did pretty good yesterday. It was a little bit of a chore getting out here today. It was a bit of a chore. <laughs> These hubs are fun to set up, especially in the wind, but we're set up, we're toasty. We got the big buddy humping away. We got the flex outside. I'm gonna take that thing back. They're junk. So I'm marking already. Hopefully we have another good day like we did yesterday. And hopefully this guy with the jiffy next to us doesn't scare all the fish away. So <laughs> stay tuned, I guess. It's gonna be a pretty good video, hopefully. They're still here. Still 13 to start the day. Nice little 13 incher to start the morning. Been fishing for a half an hour now. Marking steady, but they're not biting. I'm thinking it's going to be another day bite like yesterday. Yeah. Like so we're going to. What are we, probably 20 minutes out from sunrise? Yeah, we got sunrise coming in in 20 minutes, so. Prime time starting, hopefully. We'll probably end up keeping him. We're gonna keep a couple fish today. We kept a couple yesterday, and then my mom yelled at me that we didn't keep any crappies for her. So we're gonna keep a few today. So to all you haters, we don't keep a limit of fish every time we're out. Just enough for supper is all we keep. Yep. Please. <laughs> Here he comes. Holy crap, he drilled it. This is a walleye. Or a 17 inch crappie. Nice one. Or a 17 inch walleye. Ouch. Could have been the same fish. He's got a nail in his mouth. Really? No. Chubb got excited though. <laughs> Drilled the bobber. Nice walleye to start the morning off. Walleye. Get you some of that. Choked. I'm double up here, I think. Probably another one for the bucket, I suppose. Yeah. Catch and release into the grease. Ooh. Big crowd. Walleye? Yeah. Good one. Good one? Yes. Ouch. Ouch. A chunky run. A chunky fatty. I probably won't push eggs yet, huh? Uh-uh. They're all full of eggs on South Dakota. 
Look, the one we cut last week was full, full. Yeah, 18 inch should probably weigh a pound and a half. Good deal. Yes, yeah, sir. Put him back or keeping him? Mm, I'll probably keep him. Okay. Good keeper size. Slow morning so far, about 8 o'clock. Got two crappies and a Walter in the pail now. Made about an inch of ice last night, so we're sitting on about six inches. There'll be wheelers out here this weekend. What you guys should do is go follow Hoyam Outdoors on TikTok. That'd be the, in your best interest. And obviously subscribe. We'll do some ice reports on there for you guys. Keep you guys updated where the safe ice is. There's a nice copy. There's a nice one, guys. Thirteen incher. That was a good video on my phone I got there. Nice. And the dorsal fan in my finger. Maybe we'll get a little bit of flurry. A big flurry. Nice one. Not too bad. Pretty white. Summer. Or is that when the fish are deep and they get light colored like that? I think it's just in the winter. Well, Dylan was always talking about how, like, when the fish go up. Post fish. See ya. Hey there. It's like six or four in the afternoon. They're not biting. <laughs> About noon. Austin had to go plow some snow. We had a little storm come through this morning. Marking fish pretty steadily, but they're locked jawed for some reason. I don't know if it's the cold front that came in or what. It's like six or four blowout. And then there's six or four portables out here. So I'm sure the pressure doesn't help. It's pretty comfortable in here though. I got the foam floor mats. Let's see if I can drop the camera off the tripod into the hole. Got the fan up there. Blowing the hot air down, it helps quite a bit too. 
only issue is, is the wind's blowing 26 miles an hour, and we can't bank the fish houses because there's not enough snow in the lake. So yeah, listening to some tunes here, relaxing, enjoying the beautiful Saturday afternoon. Thought about frying up some fish, but I don't really want to stick my portable up, so I think we're just going to eat some dead minnows. Get by till supper time at least. I think they'll bite again tonight, so stay tuned. Twelve seconds later. What will you tell me? Well, it's about one o'clock now. We're getting a little hungry. We brought some fillets from last night that we caught with. I'm marking a fish right now, trying to catch it, but he doesn't want to bite. Anyways, finally got the body flex to work now. It's a miracle. We got some walleyes and some crappie fillets. Yes, we know that counts towards our limit until we eat them, so we're not keeping that many fish today. Austin kept a couple and left, so we got some crappies and walleye fillets to fry up here using some some of the best shore lunch flavoring you can get here. Cajun. And we got some Louisiana stuff mixed in with it. I like I like when you mix those two, so. I got some vegetable oil on the buddy cooker over here. I'm gonna start dicing up some fish fillets and get them cooking because we're hungry. Hopefully we can catch a few fish during the process. Oh my goodness. Gracious. First batch is done. About three more to go. Oh my good lord. Break a fillet open for you here, see how white it is. Camera probably isn't focused because it's a piece of crap, but it's pretty white and flaky. Taste test. Oh my god, that's good. Try mixing that Cajun with the... I don't have the bag anymore. It's a little blue package. Louisiana branded. Hunter's grabbing it. Looks good. Absolutely delicious. Good quality camera. <laughs> what do you think, Lou? Really good? <laughs> <laughs> Better get your face down there. <laughs> good stuff. Oh my god, I thought. <laughs> you left with the old batch? I'm blind. Call me Peyton Sabota. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one. That was a nice hit. Nice copy. Thirteen and a half. Thirteen and a half incher. Crappy, it's huge. Mm. 
Nice shallow back there. Yes or no? First full release on that one. Cat? No. <laughs> Good deal. What? You Didn't think it was a cat? The way it was doing that? Yeah. Yep. You didn't even say nothing, huh? Uh uh. Another eater for the pail. Probably a 11 and 3 quarter 12 incher. Another one down there. Oh my god, it's a big crappie. What's your hook done? He's gone? That was an 18 inch crappie. Yeah. If it was a crappie. Mm -hmm. I'm time bomb. Get you on. It is a time bomb. Mm -hmm. What? So Walter, go back. I thought it was going to be a little small gear. Nice one. Yeah, cat I would say. Big fish. Same thing. Mm hmm. Gotta grab the other rod. Don't feel hardly anything. Kitty? Big crappie. Right. He's hog tied. There he turned around. Come on. Nice kitties. Go to your home. Oh, 
about 5.30 here. Fish have kind of died off in the last hour or so. Wasn't really much of a bite today at all, but we got a few. I don't know if this is going to be long enough for a video, but I think it should be. Our mission to find some fish, to find... I can't talk. Our mission to find some fish for tomorrow's overnight was kind of a fail. We found them last night, came back today, and they didn't bite. So I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to go find a different spot for tomorrow. But stay tuned for that video. That'll be in a couple days when you guys from when you guys see this. So appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.